Hello everyone and welcome to episode 51 of the New Japan Pro Wrestling series here on the channel as it is Fantastic Mania. And uh, for episode 51 here of this TW 2020 series, uh, you know, it's our first tour in Mexico, which is very exciting. As far as drawing power so far, you know, this, uh, as far as being in Centro Mexico, it's at a spot where... Usually, most of the, the smallest venue that we can run is around 2,400, and we're drawing about 1,200. So it's not terrible. Was hoping it'd be a little bit better as far as to be able to maybe potentially sell it out or something, but it is what it is. As uh, We're at a weird spot here in this uh, as far as starting the uh, episode with the uh, final show as far as showing what it's going to look like uh, because I have a lot of things kind of up my sleeve that I don't want to be revealed yet as... Uh, our main event for this Fantastica Mania uh, show, or the final show, will be an IWGP World Tag Team title matchup as the Order of Destruction. Getting a rematch against Romo Takahashi and Tetsuya Naito, a fallout from, obviously, Wrestle Kingdom. Now, of course, the reason why this match is happening, uh, mainly because both these teams have great pop in Mexico, which is just kind of funny, <laughs> seeing Calvin Tegman and Will Hobbs being, like, 70 over in Mexico, mainly because of, you know, being a part of New Japan now, being, you know, showing the New Japan show's uh, in Mexico, which is done very well uh, for New Japan World, so that's great. But uh, we uh, to, to have so many matches against these two teams kind of so quickly might hurt it as far as because the first match happened in during the Tag League, obviously in December, where uh, they ordered Destruction 1. Of course, Hiromu Takashi and Tetsuya Naito just beat them at uh, Wrestle Kingdom, so to have the, the trilogy so quick, so close together, having you know three matches against each other in the span of a month it is pretty nuts, but uh, hopefully it all works out. Uh, and I think that should be a, a fun match to have as far as the main event for uh, Fantastic Mania. Then a hell of a curl main. First time meeting. It's a special IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion versus the New Japan Strong Openweight Champion. Matchup is Ray Phoenix taking on Shingo Takagi. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, this is a huge opportunity for Ray Phoenix uh, as far as to take on a former IWGP Everweight Champion, a former, obviously, Junior Everweight Champion, too, in Shingo Takagi, but uh, it's a fun match, fun match to have, and it's something to where we can be able to do this match here at Fantasca Mania. I think it's the perfect setting for it, and it should be a lot of fun. And then a NWA World Historic Welterweight title matchup as Ryu Lee's taking on Caristico. So this is the one of two belts we brought up from CMLL uh, as far as uh, to be able to use these two belts. Thank God that we have Caristico on a handshake deal, so we were able to call up the belt and it not fuck up the rain. So that's why we're, we did that. And then the CMLL Universal five-way elimination title match. So the CMLL Universal title, they had a tournament in, like, basically the early... I want to say maybe even the late 2000s is when they started. I want to say it was early 2010s, which was off the top of my head. They uh, would run this kind of tournament... And uh, a lot of Japanese stars have actually won that the, the CMLL Universal title as far as uh, Jushin Liger has held it before, Tom Ashley's held it before. So it's kind of, I think it's the uh, you know, belt to, to use here for this Fantastica Mania. I think it's a good idea. Now, obviously, it's something that it has like 100 pop, in, or not 100 pop, 100 prestige in the game, which is uh, pretty wild since, you know, it hasn't, never been used in the mod yet, so that's just kind of funny that that works out, but this five-way elimination matchup has Fabero Cavanaro, Black Taurus, Lizmark Jr., Pentagon Jr., and Volador Jr. Elimination matchup, of course, so, um, you know, it's going to be the, the final man standing will be the CMLL Universal Champion. Then uh, we have a tag team matchup of the Young Bucks, taking on Juice Robinson and Alexander Hammerstone, so a rematch from the Tag League. As far as since Juice and Hammerstone beat the Young Bucks, and I want to have the Young Bucks on the card. I felt like this was a, the you know next best thing. We probably could have had a um, Never Over Boy Six Man Tag Team Title matchup, have AJ on the card as well. But I felt like this was the best case scenario to kind of have a fallout from that. Maybe even you know we we probably could. You know I'm thinking about it because we could have uh, Juice Hammerstone and and you know as far as Cobb potentially teaming there, but that, it's fine. Then we have Evil on the card taking on a mystery opponent. That should be fun to see who that mystery opponent is. 
IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team title matchup. It's Fred Yeha and Myron Reed taking on Daniel Makabe and Jonathan Gresham. As uh, this is another fallout from a tag league, but it's the Super Junior Tag League. As uh, Fred Yeha and Myron Reed, of course, beat Daniel Makabe and Jonathan Gresham during that tag league. So, hence why they're getting their title match here. And to start off the show, El Kukui taking on Hayata Jr. Fujita. El Kukui, of course, boogeyman uh, of uh, Mexican lore as far as uh, the... Uh, really, with, with this character, we'll kind of talk about more in depth in a little bit. But uh, just for now, you know, taking on Hayato Jr. Fujita at the final show. It's a big big opener, hopefully. Hopefully it goes over well. Uh, uh, he's in the uh, first show here, as far as we're at the Road to Fantastica Mania, which there's three tour shows in the final show. I believe there's three. There might actually just be two. Okay, yeah, there is three. So three tour shows and then the final show for the fourth show. As uh, Then we also have Francesco and Robbie Eagles taking on the Golden Dragons book for this show as well. So El Kukui is... Going to be the returning from excursion, Yoda Suji. Now we made a little, uh, so the um, the little Photoshop edit. It's not great, but it, it's gonna work out. The first picture, I thought the blood looked a little too dark. Like it looked like it was like kind of like somebody drank a lot of wine <laughs> like the night before and then showed up to to work. Type of uh, it. It just was more darker than anything, which is fine, too. You could kind of have it to where it's, like, old blood, but I wanted, like, brighter colors, which it's still maybe a little too... It's not perfect, but it's kind of the middle ground of where I wanted it to be. But Yoda Suji, I felt like his hair, and, and really that, um, the, you know, the wild man hair, to go with an, a character like this, you know, with El Kukui... I felt like it's a great idea to have him, you know, basically the idea that he's been, you know, this character kind of created during his excursion in CMLL, and to have it be showcased here is a fun idea. Funny enough, I don't know if I'm going to have it be El Kukui when he comes back, as far as we're going to have him be El Kukui for like a couple of more months, and then we'll probably bring him back during like Dominion or something. So just the idea to have him, just to kind of see where he's at, during this tour, since he's been gone for a couple of months now, or a couple of months, a couple of years now, uh, I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to really showcase what he can do with this uh, Fantastica Mania tour. And, you know, potentially if it goes over well, which it probably won't, we'll see. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. As, uh, yeah, El Kukui gonna beat Fuminorabe in a Hell of a debut win for El Kukui. Uh, really, we needed someone that was kind of over enough because his pop, even though he's been in Mexico for a couple of years, it's still not great. It's still, like, in the 20s. So, hopefully it works out. As uh, I'm sure Abe, yeah, let's say he's probably going to be furious. But that's, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles there for Fumino Abe. Wow. He's still, he's still pissed about it, but that's all right. And then a match that we have booked on the past two Fantasca Mania shows, the final shows, Francesco and Eagles of Chaos taking on Golden Dragons as uh, we're going to have Samurai Del Sol get the win here, set to steal the show. Hopefully that works out. Yeah, El Kukui eating Fuminar Abe. I, I kind of want him to be that type of character, but with a Japanese lore toy. We'll see, though. As far as maybe something along those lines, if, if there's something in Japanese lore. Actually, the, the first plan was to have him be a uh, something from a Japanese uh, manga, as far as like a character like that, to kind of go along the same lines as Tiger Mask and Liger. But I couldn't really nail one down. I thought I was going to use Zetman, but I felt like, because it, it's a perfect combination of... I think it's a, maybe a little too popular for them to use. And plus, uh, Zetman's kind of been done for the past... So I think it it ended its run in like 2014. So it's been gone for a while. Maybe I'm wrong, though. It might still be going on, actually. Uh, I'm not really that into Japanese manga lore. So I don't really know full on what's uh, what's in and what's out. Besides, like, the the household names, I you know, as far as... With that, with that, but uh, 
As far as for the rest of this show here, we'll keep it rolling. Let's have Volador Jr. have a match. Have him take on Yasutaka Yano. Really, this is going to be a good idea for the Young Lions to get involved through this tour. Kind of like a pre-excursion for him, in a way. Still can't believe we're going to have him. Fuminar Abe lose in his debut. Or lose against uh, El Kakui. Going to be big. A lot of big names are going to be on this tour, though. Like, Danson's not on the tour. Okada's not on the tour. A lot of, lot of big names. As far as... Um, yeah, I don't know if we should use Kyle O'Reilly. I'm not really, not really sure. I'll go with um, Lee Moriarty. Let's actually go with a six-man. Let's go with uh, a Lee Moriarty with Gresham and Makabe. Against the team of, uh, of the Foundation. So we'll use Yehi, Mind Reed, and probably Casanova. Would be my guess. It's a really good match, though. We'll have this be the technical master class match. So, probably for the best. As I will have Lee Moriarty beat Christian Casanova. And the uh, Lucha fans are going to think Gresham's a many, but that's alright. <laughs> it, it should work out fine. So that's our basically our bottom four matches so we need at least something a little bit more star power probably for this i think it may be a six man of um using shingo and uh haramu naito and uh, we'll have him take on probably death triangle Pac. Which, sick, you know, having Pac on the card. Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. So we're going to have Sh uh, Shingo beat Pac. I think that's a good call. Hell of a main event, though. Poor Pac, though. I have to lose, but somebody's got to. Uh, you know, as far as after the fallout of them kicking out uh, Shatoru Shino and Joe Doring, as far as what's Task Force Death going to be doing uh, on the horizon, it should be a lot of fun to see. And uh, as far as the co-main, I might just go with an Order of Destruction tag match. Let's see who that we can have. We don't have anybody from House of Torch on this tour as well, so that might be something we might... Have for the Road 2 show. <laughs> we can also have Golden Ace. Yeah, um, yeah Blast Off aren't, aren't on the tour. Yeah, we'll go with the United Rage. For this first match. Yeah. Nothing like <laughs> just two beefy teams going at it. As that will have Tankman get the win. Over Katsuya Kitamura. Not the greatest show by any means. I think we, we put a lot of faith in our undercard. But I think it still is a fun little show. As I'm just kind of curious. This is 77. Obviously we ran it in Japan. That's a hell of a fucking main event though. <laughs> Young Bucks and Romu and Naito. We'll see how it, how it goes here for this first day. 71! Wow. As uh, Makabe, Gresham, and Lee Moriarty, the much better team here as uh, Moriarty getting the one with the joint custody in uh, 1648 over uh, Christian Casanova, who was the worst guy in the match. 51. Valdor Jr. beating uh, Yasu Takuyano with a La Corbrada as uh, 949. It's nice to see. 56 for El Kakui over Fuminori Abe. Gets the one with the Dream Destroyer, which uh, the Dream Destroyer we're going to have be a, um, basically, think a gory bomb, but with the neckbreaker. So basically, uh, what uh, 
Victoria would have that, uh, would use that, the Widow's Peak. Basically, it's that. Felt like that's kind of the best idea, because really, the idea, we're kind of going with the boogeyman in a sense of, you know, like, under the bed type of, you know, El Kukui. Not mainly like this, uh... Yeah, I mean, I think that's probably for the best instead of this uh, crazy, like, vampire killer. But also, too, kind of combining both of that. But not really, like, uh, the uh, not full-on Mexican lore. El Kukui kind of like a middle ground between, like, the American Boogeyman. And, and we'll probably add a little spice to, to a lot of it. Kind of mash of a lot of things. At the, at the end of the day, the final product of, of that, but uh, it's it's an idea, it's an idea for sure. Uh, but yeah, the Dream Destroyer for El Kukui in nine thirty one for Fuminori Abe. Oh yeah, um, uh, yes. We, we uh, want to make sure that gets changed. They had it's going to be El Kukui. That was adequate. We'll take it. Oh, a forty eight here as. Um, I'm surprised. It was a good match, though. Just uh, not really over enough. But uh, Samurai del Sol and Sente de Ora beating Akira Francesco and Robbie Eagles. A, a good little match, just, you know, as far as I guess they're just uh, unimportant. Samurai del Sol getting the win with the Rising Sun in 1320. And a 78 for the co-main of Will Hobbs and Calvin Tegman against Ketsuya uh, Ketsu Kitamura and the Great Okan. Doomsday Plunge for Calvin Tegman over Ketsuya Kitamura. Look at the great Okan go, though, with the excellent chemistry boost. He's almost on the same level as Hobbs and Tankman. Good shit. A 77 for our main event of the six man of Shingo with Hiromu and Naito against Pac, Thanex, and Pentagon Jr. as uh, Shingo. The pumping bomb over Pac. It's good shit, though. That's uh, it's a really good match. It's crazy. Naito is uh, almost the worst guy in this match. The. F um about to say he might be declining physically now as far as I believe he was, but now he definitely we're starting to see it. Starting to see the effects of it. Poor poor night. Good little good little show. That that was a lot better than I suspected. I mean as far as this being the worst thing on the card though, did not see that coming. Thought for sure it was gonna be this. Uh because, you know, I didn't think El Kukui, which poor uh fucking uh it was a Suji. Still not doing great, as far as performance-wise, but I think that gimmick hopefully will get him in the right direction. We'll see now. A lot of uh, building to do with him still. And uh, that is the first Road 2 show. On to the second one now. Alrighty, so we have a lot of things pre-booked for uh, night two here. As day two, rather. As uh... So yeah, um, it sucks that we probably should not run Centro, so we gotta go somewhere else. As far as where we can go... Um, not a lot of options for us, unfortunately. As far as uh, there's not a lot of venues in Mexico f in this mod. So we don't have a lot of options. Yeah, I think for the rest, there's... N yeah, it's just locations. So that's great. Oh, no, there, there's a couple here. <laughs> so this is probably our best bet. Wow, man, that is a terrible, terrible thing to deal with. We're going to have to... My god, as uh, that venue is going to look very, very empty, <laughs> unfortunately, here. So, we got a lot of matches here, as you see. Uh, the main event, probably this, honestly. Ryu Lee and Flamita against Caristico and Samurai do Sol. As uh, Ryu Lee and Flamita of Mexico are going to beat Caristico and Samurai do Sol, as Ryu Lee's going to pin Samurai do Sol, but that's a hell of a main event. Then this uh, Lucha Brothers versus Shingo Takagi Bushi matchup, as Pentagon Jr. is going to get the win. Over Bushi. This could honestly be the main event as well. Could go either way. Then probably Saverino Jr. versus Shane Strickland. It's a really good match on paper. As uh, Shane Strickland's going to lose though to Saverino Jr. Uh, Saverino Jr. Very over in Mexico right now. As a, in the 70s in some places. So should go over really well. Hopefully there. And then Rushmore of uh, Roderick Strong with the Young Bucks of course. Taking on Liberty United as Roderick Strong getting his win in his debut, beating uh, Alex Shelley and uh, Juice Robinson and Alexander Hammerstone. Hell of a match, though. I would love to see this on a strong taping. 
Oh, Roddy's not ready yet. Never mind. <laughs> J fucking K. As uh, we'll have a BAJ now. Damn. Should we have it be for the title now? Nah. Let's have it be a non title. Oh, uh, that's right. So we'll have AJ Styles beat out, shall we? Actually, <laughs> uh, let's have it be uh, Hammerstone. Like that a little bit more. So non title matchup there, then Flight Club taking on Blast Off. It's going to be a 12 minute matchup. As uh, Blast Off are going to beat Flight Club, Jason Lee's going to beat Darius Martin there, and our opener, which needs to be a technical masterclass, will have to be a, a tag. Let's see what we get here. As far as I was thinking, maybe United Rage match again, or uh, not United Rage, um, Josh Alexander, and uh, and maybe Lee Moriarty as a as a team. So exclude. Well, to make this a little easier for us. Uh, we might also do Rocky and, uh, and Yo. Yeah, let's see what we got. Rocky and Yo. And a junior matchup. And yeah, Reynolds in there. And, uh, Silver, why not? Be a win for Alex Reynolds here. He's gonna beat Yo. Since, uh, Alex Reynolds rarely wins. <laughs> we'll see how they do in Mexico, though. Hopefully it's a Nice little match. Uh, but yeah, we should be good to go. As far as for this, yeah. This is a lot better now with AJ Styles involved in the match, so we're gonna bump this up. Yep. Let's, uh, let's run the show here. A 63 for the opener, not bad at all. As Reynolds and Silver beating Rocky and Yo. As uh, Reynolds with a Reynolds wrap over uh, Yo getting submission win in 1545. 62 for a flight club against Blast Off, Hong Kong Tornado for Jason Lee over Darius Martin, Takuya Nomura and Dante Martin in the 60s. That's a good sign there. Um, Jason Lee, worst guy in the match. Did not see that coming though. Hmm. Shout out to uh, Darius Martin though and uh, Ayato Jr. for Jr. doing better than Jason Lee. As uh, they don't click here, Sabrina Jr. and Shane Strickland. Plus they're not over enough. Which, you love that because it's based off of importance and not what their popularity is in that area. So maybe a little uh, flaw, I will say, from the, uh, I guess you could say the, what, what would you call that, I guess? Because you can't say it's a, maybe the push um, settings, I guess you could say. A little bit of a, a flaw. Because if someone's in the 70s in, in the region, and he still is considered uh, a pre-show worker, then your shit's fucked up. And I get that it's because it's a Japanese promotion, but we're running the show, you know, as far as... It's it's a lot to handle, I think, for the game. And uh, the, the game just can't handle it, uh, which is just hilarious. But uh, that's the way, way she goes. Standing her and Rana, though, for Sabrina Jr. over Shane Strickland. It's so a 75 for the six-man at Rushmore against Liberty United. It's AJ pinning Hammerstone with the Styles Clash. Hammerstone, worst guy in the match. Good choice there to have him take the fall. Of course, Shelley's the best guy for that team. So made sense there to have him not get involved in the finish. But, uh, yeah, not, not bad at all. Nick was off his game, which hurt the rating for him. But uh, all around, though, it's a good little match. It got the crowd hot, too. 77 for the uh, Lucha Brothers Shingo Bushi matchup. Pentagon Jr. with a cross armbar over Bushi, though, in 20 minutes. Good little match. Shingle with a 69. Nice. But, uh, yeah, Ray Phoenix. Pentagon Jr. doing very well there in that rating. Good sign there. And then our main event, 78. Flamito Ryu Lee beating the Caristico Samurai del Sol team. Great Samurai del Sol. I mean, not great at all there in that matchup as Ryu Lee getting the win in uh, 1946. I think we're going to have that title match maybe be a little higher on the card. We'll see, though. Because I think that's going to be a hell of a match. I think that should go above the singles match of Shingo and, and Fenix. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. That might be a game-time decision type deal. But that's not a bad little show again. We're doing well, obviously, ratings-wise. But just, I think, popularity-wise, you know, having a you know, venue that 
seats, you know, 3,000, we're only drawing 543 people, not great, <laughs> not great from the business side of things, but what can you do, you know, as far as just, uh, there's not enough venues for the mod, in the mod, rather, um, for us to really run a successful show in Mexico as far as a touring show, but it is what it is. As uh, on to the final road to show. Alrighty, as uh, day three, the final day. One quick note though before we go, as um, we have made a slight change to the card. Instead of Lismark Jr. in that five man elimination matchup, figured we should probably have Sabrino Jr. in there instead, because he is way better. Um, I just want to make sure. I might actually already change that uh, in the. Uh, let me. Look here. Nope. Okay. So he did not change it here. So we'll just go ahead. Just for the sake. Sabarino. Well, just double check. Yeah. There we go. As uh, So the six things pre-booked. So we, everything's pre-booked already for the show. We have an El Kui matchup against Jason Lee. We got Rocky Romero and Shun Skywalker. Which I believe this is a uh, technical masterclass match. We'll go ahead and add this now. Rocky's going to beat Shun Skywalker. Lismark Jr. and Barbarino Cavanaro as uh, Barbaro Cavanaro going to get the win. And it's going to be a 10-minute match. Obviously, Lismark Jr., it's crazy to think of... Uh, I, every time I think of Lismark Jr., I immediately think of like WCW era <laughs> Lismark Jr., which is obviously a solid 25 years ago. Uh, so, obviously, you know, not the spring chicken he once was back then and is a 50-year-old man now. As a Barbero Cavanaro gonna get the win there, obviously. Uh, we're also gonna have Black Taurus and Kaji Tamato. Gonna be a win for Black Taurus here. So that's gonna go 16, giving that a lot of time. Jason Lee El Kukui should have had this match a lot sooner. It's gonna be a steal the show match. Is El Kukui gonna get the win? Yeah, saw that one coming. Jason Lee, super, super pissed. Shout out everyone from Blast Off losing to El Kukui, though. Pretty great. And then, you know, obviously, he's gonna take on Hayato Jr. Vegeta. But yeah, we are. All types of uh, scrambled here. Let's go ahead. Put this here. Switch this around. There we go. So, four straight singles matches. We might change that around a little bit. But the uh, team of Argos and Black Panther. Two guys from uh, CMLL. Which, obviously, Black Panther. Uh, blue, you know, as far as uh, blue... Uh, Jesus. Uh, fucking Blue Panther... Junior, as uh, obviously he's going under as uh, Black Panther, more commonly known. As uh, it sucks that we can't have him technically be Black Panther, we have to have a period at the end of it. But him and Argos, kind of a thrown together team, they're taking on top flight as uh, Dante Martin going to get the win there. As uh, we should probably put that kind of right there in the middle. As we're going to put that right there in the middle. So. And then the final matchup has, thanks a lot, fucking <laughs> win war as uh, the six-man main event, Dark Order versus LIJ. Dark Order's going to get the win here, actually, as, uh, well, now that I think about it, probably shouldn't. Let's have Shingo beat evil. <laughs> Fuck it. Why not? 20-minute matchup there. We'll have that be the main. I think that's the safest bet. Oh, uh, there we go. That's that's weird that it didn't add to the booking sheet. There we go. So we're putting a lot of faith in Black Taurus and Kaji Tomato. Probably bump that up. Now we have a lot of faith in Lizbark Jr. As, uh, let's, uh, yeah, make sure we're in Mexico. So, I think we'll run, uh, yeah, I guess we'll run here. Boy. What a shit show. Uh, this will be. And again, Winwar, get out of here. <laughs> As, uh, they, now we can run. I just want to make sure we don't have any backstage incidents or anything. I don't think we did. Oh, we did. Just mold right on through them. But, uh, Yuji Nagata passing on tips on psychology to the Great Okan. And the Milan Collection AT passing on microphone work to Yasu Takayano. Alrighty. Let's see how this uh, Shun Skywalker walking Rocky Romero matchup, which is the 58. I figured Shun Skywalker wouldn't do that great. It sucks that Shun Skywalker has not done really anything of note for us. Uh, as far as his ratings haven't been great, 
just uh, pops not great either. I was really excited because I really love shooting Skywalker, but uh, in the mod here, it's not that great, unfortunately. So that's unfortunate. But uh, the foreign devil for Rocky Romero, though getting the win there in the opener. As uh, the next matchup, Jason Lee over uh, losing rather to El Kakui. There we go, Yoda Suji in the 40s now. The Dream Destroyer getting the win there in 10:25. Great win for El Kakui. 47 for Argos and Black Panther against Top Flight. They don't click. Not enough overness, but it, I mean, got the crowd buzzing somehow. Dante Martin getting the win with the 450 splash at 12.39. 45 for Kaji the Mono Black Taurus. What a shit show this is. Uh, the Infernal Suplex for Black Taurus of 15.51. Thank God that we had this match as the clone main as Barbero Cavanaro beating Lesmark Jr. with the La Cavanara. In uh, 10-14. Yeah, Lismark Jr., glad he's not going to be in that match. For the CMLL Universal title. And the six-man saves the day as L.I.J. beating Dark Order. Yeah, evil horse guy in the match. Makes sense for him to lose here. So, how fun. As uh, Naito, the second horse guy in the match. That is crazy. So, he was really off his game, though, to be fair. But even then, I think even on his best day, he was not going to be at that same level. But, uh, yeah, that will do it for the Row 2 shows. On to the final show, the Fantastic Mania show. Alrighty, as the Fantastic Mania show. So awesome. Uh, this, is, this has been a fun tour. It's definitely a fun little change of pace. We might have it a little longer next year. Uh, but, by God, 30,000 people. That's more like it. That's what I love to see. Mexico City Arena will be a sellout. You love to see that. Hell yeah. Let's go. As, uh, yeah, so our main event, of course, Order Destruction, Hiromu and Tetsuya Naito. As uh, 26 minutes, Naito getting the win over the Order Destruction. Hopefully, will be a banger. We shall see. And we are going to switch uh, Ray Phoenix and Shingo around with Ryu Lee and Karistico. This will now be the co-main as Karistico beating Ryu Lee. He will retain his NWA World Historic Welterweight Championship. And so that should be a hell of a match, though. I'm super excited for that. Very much looking forward to seeing how that goes. And uh, then the Ray Phoenix Shingo Takagi matchup. As Ray Phoenix will be beating Shingo Takagi. So that's going to be fun. We're going to have a, a New Japan Strong Openweight title match between the two at the uh, next Strong taping because of that win. So that's going to be huge. Then the five-way matchup. So I was going to actually have this be a ladder match, but Pentagon Jr.'s health is so bad that he declined to even be involved in that. So pretty hilarious. But Barbero Cavanero will win and will be the Universal Champion. Basically, the final two men will probably be Barbero Cavanero and Sabrino Jr., actually. Uh, probably because of just popularity, if I had to guess. But Devaldo Jr. will probably be... So it's probably the elimination or probably Black Taurus, then Pentagon Jr., funny enough, then Valdo Jr. Maybe it would go Black Taurus, Valdo Jr., Pentagon Jr., Sabrino Jr., then Cavanero, as far as uh, that goes. Then the Young Bucks versus Juice Robinson and Alexander Hammerstone, which is going to be set for Steel the Show. The Young Bucks will get the win as Nick Jackson's going to beat Hammerstone. And before we have our matchup here, we got to have an angle, which you saw who it's going to be. The mystery person, Dario Cueto, introduces his son, Matanza. He's back for this one-time shot here uh i feel like it's perfect for this this is a you know i, I it, at the same time obviously the batonza character i'm pretty sure is copyrighted by like lucha underground and kind of that entity and even though it's not a thing anymore i'm sure you cannot just willing you willingly use that character so we went with it being all caps but even then i don't think it's gonna work but basically you know this mystery Opponent, you know, Evil's the first one out. Dario Cueto appears, has a microphone. Says, you think you're evil? You don't. You haven't seen nothing yet. I know the most evil 
human being on this planet. And he's my son, my beautiful boy. He's here to destroy evil and show you what true evil is all about type of thing. But yeah, just obviously I love Dara Cueto. And th this should be a hell of a pop. You know, to have Matanza back. What a, uh, what a pop. Tario Cueto and Matanza are back. <laughs> oh, pop. Absolute pop. As uh, they will be, uh, Matanza going to get the win. It's going to be 10 minutes. We're going to keep them in uh, Liberty United just for now since it's a one-time thing. But um, I'm super excited to see how that plays out. Because Dario Cueto's stats are really good. So that should be fun. Then the uh, junior tag team title matchup. Fred Yehi, Myron Reed, Taking God, United Empire, Daniel Makabe, and Jonathan Gresham. Which... Gresham and Makabe will retain as Gresham's going to beat Myron Reed there. Obviously, technical masterclass. Then they'll open up the show. El Kukui going to be beating Hayato Jr. Fujita as, uh... All right, there we go. TW's wanting to <laughs> just low very slowly for me, but, but give it a 12-minute matchup. It's not going to be great, but, uh, yeah, another guy's super pissed about losing to El Kukui. Hayato Jr. Fujita. At least puts them over. Very nice of them. Yeah, eight, uh, eight match show. Probably won't have anything pre-booked or anything. We might well, let's just have one thing pre-booked for the uh, Arena Mexico crowd. Should have booked the minis. <laughs> Should have had a couple of minis out there. But uh, let's see. Let's see if we can use. Yeah, probably Shun Skywalker and Flamita. Let's go out there and. Go out there and flip. <laughs> Just have a fun little match. Let me to get the win. There we go. There we go. It's a fantastic mania. Hopefully it will be a success. We'll see how it runs. Fit, uh, 64 for the uh, pre-show matchup. Not bad at all. Damn. 22,300 people. Sell out. Can't, I mean, it's so wild seeing that, but uh, the Fly Flame for Flamita getting the win in 12 minutes. Not bad at all, not a bad performance. As Heiato Jr. Fujita carrying El Kukui as uh, his other finisher, Shooting Star Press. Don't know what we'll call it, but he will do the Shooting Star Press since he actually does in real life. Uh, I was thinking something like. Uh, like a blood star press or something like that, but that doesn't really make any sense. Something maybe with star, something with like a blood moon press or something. I don't know. Something. <laughs> something along those lines. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fun little match though. Could have been a lot worse. Actually, 76 though for the technical mass class matchup of Daniel Makabe and Jonathan Gresham against Ye High and Myron Reed. It's a 20 minute matchup. Gresham beating the. Uh, Myron Reed and Fred Yai team as uh, Gresham with the Octopus Stretch over Myron Reed. And hell of a performance there from Gresham on an 86 and a 77 for Makabe. Good little junior boy tag team title match up there. The 40 for the angle. So that angle sucked. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, the, what a pop, though. And yeah, Matanza. Even Jeff Cobb wasn't even that great in the match. It's, uh, he gets the, I forget what he called it, Lucha Underground, but. Definitely not tour of the island, but you get you get the gist. <laughs> That's a shot in the chest that so that didn't go well, but hey, what can you do? As uh, seventy-seven though for the Bucks against Hammerstone and Juice, look at the little match. As uh, Hammerstone's the worst guy in the match, he takes the fall here. Meltzer driver as uh, Nick Jackson pinning Hammerstone after the Meltzer driver. Not bad at all. An eighty-one for the uh, five-way elimination matchup. Yeah, Valdor Jr., not great. Everybody in this match did pretty well, though. As, uh, Submarino Jr. was probably the best choice. But, uh, yeah, it actually went exactly how I thought the elimination process would go. So that's kind of weird. Uh, but, yeah, Submarino Jr. Did a really good job. Barbero Cavanero, good job as well. And he's the Universal Champion. Hopefully, that reign continues once we move it back down to, uh, CMLL. We'll see. Probably not. <laughs> I'm assuming. A 78, though, for Ray Phoenix and Shingo Takagi as Shingo strains his bicep 
that sucks. Because uh, that match, we needed a, a good rating out of Shingo, and that injury took a big toll on him. Ray Phoenix with an 88. Tremendous job there. Meteora for Ray Phoenix getting the win in 25-52. Excited to see how the strong match goes. Because I think that'll be a lot better, it being a, a strong taping main event. It's a 90 for Ryu Lee and Caristico. Hell of a match here. As Caristico beating Ryu Lee with a La Mystica. And that is his fifth defense of his World Historic Welterweight title. Yeah, banger. Makes sense. Would be a very good match. We'll see how the main event does. Will it outperform it? It does. Wow. Fantastic Mania. What <laughs> great success. <laughs> As Tetsuya Knight and Romu Takahashi beating Will Hobbs and Calvin Tankman. And that's their first defense of their IWGP Tag Team title reign. Getting uh, their, not only their revenge, but uh, putting the stamp on that they are the better team over Order of Destruction winning the trilogy. And a hell of a match though. Hell of a card. That went really, really well. Wow. I don't know why I'm surprised though. I mean, we are, you know, three years in the mod, but even then, well, actually, we're four years in the mod almost, but uh, even then, you know, when you're in a new place, you're, you're a little nervous about how it's going to go, but it went really, really well. I didn't think anything would be in the 90s, honestly. But it was. That's a good shout. Sucks that the Matanza angle sucked, but other than that, I'd say we did a really good job. We'll probably put over uh, Ray Phoenix. We'll put over Caristico, and we'll put over um, Rayuli as well. Because I mean, all three of those guys really did a tremendous job. Fantastic stuff there. It was fun. Yeah, and here I was thinking, yeah, we'll probably do Fantastic Mania, maybe once or twice here in Mexico, and probably end it. We'll probably keep it going. That was a lot of fun. And so, uh, yeah, that was fun little side tour. And now, on to the New Beginning Tour. The You know, as far as we got some big-time matches lined up that uh, should be, should be, absolute bangers. And hopefully, everything goes well. Hopefully, no more injuries as far as, uh, we got lucky. It was just a strained bicep with Shingo. That could have been really bad. So, that have been unfortunate to lose Shingo like that. But it was a fun, fun little card. You know, it's nice to kind of get out of the kind of formula that we do with New Japan, obviously, and to be able to just have fun with it and just kind of book multi-man matches to have, uh, you know, just fun little gimmicks involved. And it was fun. It was a nice change of pace. As I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Sorry for the one-day delay. Uh, but uh, basically what happened was I woke up uh, with just a severe, severe pain in my right shoulder, in my right arm, is, uh, you know, what I use to record. I mean, I was taking, I probably took, like, almost 2,000 milligrams of, like, uh, anti-inflammatory uh, medicine. Nothing worked. I even tried to take, like, sleeping medicine after a while, just be like, alright, just knock me out, and even that wouldn't work. Finally, though, uh, when I uh, finally went to bed, woke up uh, today, and uh, the pain, luckily, is gone. So that was nice. I thought I was going to have to get like a cortisone shot or something. But uh, yeah, luckily it all worked out. Thank you all for understanding as far as the one day delay. Not a huge deal, but it, it does suck to delay it a day. But uh, luckily it was a fun show. And luckily the uh, episode was a banger as far as uh, the big show, the Fantastic Man show. Doing really well. So that was great. Uh, but thank you all again uh, for the constant support constant love of the series and uh yeah we'll keep it going with episode 52 the new beginning series and then of course what the all japan series is going on what a series that's turned into and uh you at the super j cup for that episode on saturday so check out that when that comes out on saturday so yeah well we'll catch you guys then take care everyone